In this video, we are going to talk about the one-dimensional direct delta function. Now, here, as you see, this is the one-dimensional direct delta function. We represented it by delta x, and it is its value is zero at any point other than x. At x, its value tends to infinity. Here, from the graph, we can see that. At any other point, this is zero. At any point other than zero, its value is zero. And at zero, its value tends to infinity. And uh, from this, we can know that uh, that its area is equal to one. This is this is by definition the value of the direct delta function is one. Now, how do we find the area? We simply integrate the function. Now, if we integrate it from minus infinity to infinity, and this is the direct delta function, and dx, we get the value is equal to 1. Now, suppose we have any ordinary function fx. Uh, to be on the safe side, let's say it is continuous and it is non-zero now what happens when you multiply fx to the direct delta function del x we see that the value of this function at any point other than x is zero therefore uh, this function would have its value only at f is equal to zero therefore we get this now, if we integrate this, I'm integrating this from minus infinity to infinity, minus infinity to infinity, dx, dx. What do we get? This f at zero simply comes out because it's a constant, and we're left behind with integration of the direct delta function now this part is simply equal to 1 because it's a, it gives us the area of the direct delta function therefore we are left with f is equal to 0 so when we integrate any function when we integrate the product of any function with a direct delta function then we get the function at 0 so this can have many uses and practical purposes and other applications. Now we can shift the peak of the direct delta function. Suppose this is the coordinate axis. This is a this is zero. Now we can shift the direct delta function here. Now uh, the direct delta function becomes uh, becomes infinity only at a and in all other values it's equal to zero in this case it will become x is equal to the direct delta function x minus a is equal to zero if x not equal to a and it's infinity if x is equal to a now, similarly, if we you now similar similarly if we take any other function f x and uh, multiply it with the direct delta function at x minus a and integrate it from minus infinity to infinity, then we get f at a. Thank you.